guys this is your girl dom aka serenity within and if this is your first time here thank you so much for coming to my channel and if you are returning serenity within family member girl hey girl hey i miss you guys so we can just jump right into this video but some of the products that we're going to use are the anti-itch hair oil i'm using this for my scalp I got this Edge Booster, never used it, and the turmeric oil, I love it. I did need to get a new rat tail comb with the metal tip, preferably the one with the parting in the front. I got some clips, some caps, and I needed some gloves, but of course you know the center of retention, we are doing a relaxer. Okay guys, so as you can see, this whole thing is all about our hair. So we're just gonna jump right into this video. I'm not even gonna sit there and hold you, I was contemplating on whether I should do this video in my bathroom or in my office but we already know that how that whole situation go so I'm just going to oil my scalp first make my first mixture and then I am gonna go to my bathroom and do my relaxer I want to start with the back first and my hair feels really dry because I had this ponytail in for the longest Just know, going in with oil is, it's always going to be like some sort of mess, but I just love using this squeeze bottle because it just gets right into it. But I also learned from the last time, do the front last because it is tripping. Definitely want to change my shirt to like a real bum shirt. Should have did that already. I don't know why I didn't do that. All right, so let's see what's in this one. So we have the actual relaxer right here and this is the activator. So of course it comes in with the, ah, that's the shampoo. It's the neutralizing shampoo then. So here's the shampoo. Yeah. Here's the shampoo. I really can't stand a little package. Then this is the conditioner here. This is hair oil. So I'm definitely gonna want that. This is exotic oil boost. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to read the instructions to see what's going on. So let's see. Cause where's the, the neutralizing shampoo at? Okay, so after carefully reading these instructions, this shampoo is the neutralizing shampoo, but I also realized this is a no lie relaxer, so I don't know if that makes a difference, but I am going to see what sort of difference does that make from the actual relaxer. Actually, let me Google that real quick. Let me see, because I'm norm to seeing a, a, at least a neutralizing shampoo. See, okay. See, that's 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 what it is. Okay, so that could be the reason why my hair was completely dry last time. So I probably I want to go back and look at my video to see which type of relaxer that I had last time because they're saying that the no lie relaxers no lie relaxers are milder and better for sensitive scalps, but they can cause hair to become drier. So no lie relaxers are gentle onto the scalp, but can cause damage on the hair strands. And lie relaxer, the active ingredient is sodium hydroxide, and no relaxer, the active ingredient is calcium hydroxide. So, no lie relax, no lie relaxer is usually a little milder and good for sensitive scalp. Mm. No wonder my scalp was dry. They ain't lie when they said that. They did not lie when they said that. All right, so let's get, let's just get to, cause my scalp really feels itchy it's been feeling itchy all day maybe because i had that ponytail on but any other time my hair my scalp was not that itchy until like the hour before the relaxer now my hair wants to be itchy 
real sketchy to me. I pour it in the activator and I'm just gonna softly and carefully mix it together first because it could get wild and get crazy and splatter everywhere. Now I did get two boxes. Now I don't think I need two boxes only because my hair isn't virgin anymore. So I could just do like a regular touch up. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think I need two boxes, but I got it always just in case because this sucks to be running low at the end. And you still got a section left. Been there, done that. And then now I want to put in this, the exotic oil boost. So hopefully this exotic oil boost help out with the dryness because that dryness be real. And then we're gonna mix that in as well. So now I'm going to um, mix this up for like one minute and then I'm going to meet you in my bathroom to start the process. So I'll be back. Okay, so now let's just get into. All right guys, so let's just jump into this touch up. So as we all should know that you want to start the relaxer in the back parts of your hair, the back sections, because that's where it's your strongest, your toughest, your most coarsest part of your hair. If it isn't, then you should really start to consider whether the relaxer is for you at this moment. Then you want to make sure that your parting is at least a half an inch, one fourth or a half an inch of each other because you want to make sure that your partings aren't too big or aren't too small if your partings are too small then you're putting way too much product onto your hair and then it's going to take longer which then can cause uh hair damage and if your partings are too big then you're not putting enough product down on your hair where when it's time to smooth out you're just going to have a whole lot of mess and then that can also cause any damage to your hair because now you're starting to over process the hair that already has the product on it so you just got to make sure that it's not too close it's not too small but like a half an inch is a good size then what i'm going to do is i am going to only apply the relaxer onto my new girls i am not trying to touch my scalp so you can see where it's a little bit of black before you know the relaxer is by the scalp because you want to make sure that you tap onto that hair first because it's really really coarse the further away from the scalp that you are but not too far the better it is to make sure that the product is actually going to work the root we're not trying to damage our new growth like we're trying to make sure our hair is strong and then you don't have to go too far especially if you already just had a relaxer then you can just stick where just the new growth is and that's that now it will start to go down further along your hair shaft but that's okay but your initial lay is not for it to be all throughout your head right away no your initial lay is just for your new growth and then after you do all four sections you want to go back and start to outline your sections with the relaxer now it's time to really put the the speed into the process because it's going to start to kick in as you can see my hair is already starting to straighten so you want to just make sure that you're smoothing like this is the smoothing process right here you want to make sure that that product is throughout your hair the smoothing process i love so much because this is so satisfying to me it always has been satisfying to me when i used to do this onto my clients but now that i'm doing it onto myself like it's so satisfying i love the smoothing part you're actually seeing your hair straighten right before your eyes it's so crazy how this this process is but you just want to smooth the whole entire head now it is getting close to the scalp but by this time my scalp did start to irritate I was already coming in very itchy like I said before earlier in this video but I still had to make sure like I can take a burning sensation when it comes down with a relaxer I can hold off a very long time that's not the healthiest thing to do so I am moving quickly now even though I did edit this but I am moving extremely quickly because my scalp is starting to be a little irritated a little bit in the front I think it was because of the ponytail okay so something that I've done that I should not have done which was not very smart of me was to smooth out the relaxer onto my edges before actually completely finishing and because i did that i did all right i didn't damage it i didn't fry it but i felt it was a little tough once i put the neutralizer in 
So I said, oh shoot, that's what I did wrong. So whatever you do, do not, and I know this, like I should know this because I've did this in the last video. I've done this so many times. I've done a relaxer so many times. So I know the do's and don'ts when it comes down to a relaxer. I don't know what was going on in my head. I just wanted this thing to hurry up and finish. But when you're doing a relaxer, you want to do all your smoothing first before you are actually doing your hairline like if your hairline is weak or anything like mine that should have been something that i did like right here i was not ready to do this only time i'm doing that is when i'm about to walk down the stairs but instead i went to the back so now that's adding more time to it because of my hairline being thin it don't need that much relaxer for it to lay down and that's the thing that that's how you can over process your edges and that's how you can break your hair off and that's why people say oh relaxers aren't good for your hair no it's all on how you manage your relaxers how you apply your relaxer and how you time yourself so i really feel like that was the major thing that i did wrong this time but i know better like i know better but i just wanted to make sure for those who are doing a relaxer themselves you want to save like your edges the last thing you about to do before you about to walk down them steps or walk to your sink or whatever the case may be you want to save that sucker for last because by the time you go into the sink and rinsing it out it will be straight enough your edges do not need to be relaxed for that long unless you have some very 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 coarse edges like that's the only way okay so now after we finish with all the smoothing or whatever i just wanted to go in with my fingers just to do a little added smoothing just in case i felt something that needed a little bit more product by the time i go in shampoo my hair this is an important step as well it, it don't mean it's gonna come the way you did it's nice and smooth whatever i went to church i went no my mama over there speaking them gems, baby. When you need someone with advice, it is her. But let's jump back into this video. So let me show you the proper way to shampoo your hair. I did not do this in my last video with my relaxer, but I'm about to show you right now. So I know you're probably saying, oh my gosh, I just got to regularly rinse my hair out. One, no. Two, when you rinse your hair out for the first time, you want to make sure that you're not going back and forth because you still could have some product in your hair. That's one. Two, um, when you're rinsing your hair out, you want to keep your hair in the same direction. You don't want to go back and forth because that could, it's hard to say because this was with another relaxer company. They said that it's best to keep your hair in one direction to keep your hair straight at the whole entire process. It helps maintain your hair straight. So I just use that same application process moving forward with every time I did a relaxer, but it works out for you. And then another thing with this particular relaxer, they did not have the neutralizer that had the pink residue. So you can see that the relaxer was still in your hair. So please be careful with that one because it can be completely tricky. At least do a minimum of six shampoos and then you can move forward. But what I did was in between each shampoo, I let the shampoo sit in my hair for two to three minutes. All right, and also if you're going in with the same relaxer that I just used, the more you neutralize and shampoo your hair, the less chemically it's going to feel. So let's move forward to the products that we're going to use to blow or dry our hair. So I'm going in with the Olaplex, which is the bond protector, as well as the bonding oil. And then I'm going in with the Chi, just because that Chi is going to be a little bit heavier that I'm going to need for this blowout. And when I'm going in with my blow dryer, I am going on a medium setting and I'm not going in with any attachments right away because I want to make sure that my hair is at least semi dry or close to damp type of dry just so that way i'm not doing any damaging by popping my hair or pulling my hair or anything like that and then i'm going with my denim brush just to help maintain the dryness and to maintain the parting and then i am going to go on a cool setting then i'm gonna go back and go in and use that chi and look at that bounce baby girl i'm gonna use that chi just to put onto my hair before i go in with my hot my flat iron and i burnt myself i was just used to the roots and it was just too straight like it was too straight so i'm just going to press this all out and then i'll be back
Okay, I be jamming. I love my R&B and I love my guy food, but sometimes that R&B just be hitting a little bit different and I was jamming. But I did put my gospel on a little bit later. But I also wanted to say, like, I hear a lot of people say, and I was one of those people as well, that was like, oh, I can't grow my hair because of my relaxer, or a relaxer doesn't help grow your hair. Honey, whoever said that, and I had to tell myself, like, I had to shut myself up. Like, you can still grow your hair with a relaxer, and I do know some products that has helped grow my hair while um while having a relaxer and one of these videos one of these days i was like go over the products that i've used so do, do not be afraid of using a relaxer if you think your hair is going to fall out da, 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 da. no as long as you do everything that exactly how the instructions of the box has said and the the basic steps of doing a relaxer you will be fine Okay, so now that we're done with flat iron our hair, I wanted to go in with my hot comb because like like right in this little area, my crown area, it's always like some little part that's not that straight. It felt like a little clump, but I should have left it there and you'll see in my next video why I said that. But um but yeah, so we just want to do just a little bit of pressing through. I didn't need this, but I was just getting real happy in the front, so I didn't need that that much. When I said your girl was jamming, I was jamming, Monica was on. But now it's time to trim my ends and they didn't need that much work to it. Maybe a little bit higher, I could have went a few times, but I just wanted to still maintain my hair and plus this has been working for me. So clipping your ends every four to six weeks. Girls, don't be afraid to cut your hair, like get your hair trimmed. And, all right, maybe I should never say cut because some people, when you go to salon, they get real super happy. Make sure you just say you are really expressing the word trim because some people are getting real happy. Like, look how small that was. Like, I didn't need that much. And I'm just so happy to see how healthy my hair is. Even with the relaxer, like, my hair is really, really healthy. Um, it's, it has, like, a nice shine. It's soft. And it's not being as dry because I'm starting to learn how to maintain it now. So, Guys, let me just give you the gems on how to get this relaxer working out for you. Don't be scared, girl. Okay guys, so after I trimmed my hair, I ended up doing another hairstyle for myself and that would be in another video. It would actually be my next video after I post this one and then my hair just gets so long, but doesn't it look natural? But isn't it so pretty? These are clippings. So I will do like a more in-depth video on this clippings and these are just one bundle. So look out for that video that's coming up soon. But guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for allowing me to entertain you as well as educate you. Thank you for showing your girls some love and always showing some support. I pray that God just continue to bless you, open his floodgates and guys see you in my next video